Hey everyone! I am so excited to share this cute little illustration with you today. It's so simple and quick. So go ahead and grab some watercolors or gouache paint. And I'm using a bigger round brush. It's a size 8. I'm going to be using colors that are like red. You can kind of see that magenta color and then there's also an orange. You can use whatever colors you would like. We're going to start out with just some clean water and we're painting on the strawberry shapes which are pretty much just like looser version of a heart and we're just painting those on with our clean water. You don't need to go in with a pencil or anything before this. It's just a really loose fun illustration and there's no right way to put things just use your determination and where you think things should go. So it's a little bit hard to see the water right now just because <laughs> it's clear, but I'm kind of just going around and adding in some heart shapes randomly. I didn't want it to be like even or in a straight line or anything, but you totally could do that if you want. I'm just going for more of a tossed look. And I'm making sure that, well, I'm either making sure or going back through and making sure that the edges are touching. That will help give it that effect of like the blooming kind of the paint. And it will just spread throughout all of the elements when they're touching. Just want to make sure it's really really nice and wet and I would suggest also taping your paper down I just don't have any tape at the moment so <laughs> uh, I just decided not to do that and go for it So once again, they're just really like loose heart shapes, more rounded than a heart would be, not as defined. And this one in the corner down here, I made sure to stay a little bit away from the edge, just so that you can have a little bit of a border. Especially if you tape your paper down, you'll have a border, so that's another plus to doing that. Do one more down here in this corner. Okay, now we're going to go in with the first color. It can be whatever color you want. Just make sure you get all of them wet and then you're just going to start placing the color in your puddles of water. It's going to like spread out and go all over the place and it is super, super fun. It's just like a lack of control and it, it stays where the water is that you put on at the beginning but it just goes crazy and it's going to blend together. So I added the red. And now I'm going to add some of the orange. You can just dot it kind of in different places. And depending on how saturated you want it, you can do more or less paint. This is just such a fun and simple technique and it was just really relaxing to use some fun colors and a different shape because normally I do florals as everyone <laughs> knows but just these strawberries were super cute and I don't know it was just a lot of fun. Hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Now I'm going back in with that magenta and just adding it in randomly again. It's really fun to watch it just kind of seep in to all those water spots. I 
and then you can kind of guide it to make sure it gets all the way to the edge. You can go back through and add more color and blend it together and just really have tons of fun with this. So I'm still just blending it and you don't have to do this. You could totally leave it how it was. I just wanted to go back in and do that. And I'm also going to add on to this heart so that it seeps into that other heart because it wasn't quite touching. And you can see I did leave one up in the right corner that's not touching and that's fine. Just however you think it looks best. I think that made it look a little bit more random and tossed. So I just left that one up there. like a tie-dye strawberry almost with that <laughs> orange in there and it just looks so cute. So once you're happy with that, you're going to wait for it to dry completely. And it's going to take a while because we used so much water at the beginning. Um, once it's dry, we're going to take this Micron pen and you could use a black regular pen or a Sharpie, whatever can color over paint. And we're going to add in a few details. So the first thing we're going to add in is the stem. And I'm just going to start with kind of some really rough leaves. They do not need to be straight. They look better when they're curvy. And then at the top you can see there's just that little stem poking out. And then on each leaf I'm making one vein line down the center. So we're just gonna make a really jaggedy, I usually do three leaves, I don't know, I just feel like that's accurate and it looks cute. So <laughs> I do three leaves and then that little stem and then just a vein line down each leaf. Super simple. I wobble my hand on purpose just to get that kind of more like roughly leaf edge look. And you can alternate which way your stem is curving just so they're all different. You can see on this bottom left one, I was getting really impatient with the drying and I tried to dry, like blot some of the water up and it just made a giant circle. So be patient, unlike me. <laughs> I had a giant puddle right there. Okay, so here's the last one for the leaves. And then we will be adding the little seeds. I'm just gonna use the same pen. And I'm gonna just do some really tiny ovals. Some of them are so small, they're like a just a solid oval. And some of them are more like an outline. And they're also completely random. This is just like the little seeds that are in the strawberries. And adding this just finishes it nicely. So super simple but it does add a lot no longer just looks like some <laughs> blobs on your paper it actually has some shape and unity
All right, you guys, so once you're finished adding the seeds, that is the end of this project. You could frame it or hang it on your wall somewhere. It is just super fun and cute. Just adds a really nice splash of color. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you around for the next one. Thanks for watching.